sits in front of me, I do that. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video, and I actually have my friend, and well, I have several family members and friends. Several. And they're trying to figure out what this is. So, five. Five you guys months. definitely know what this is, this is but they months. have no idea what it is. So I'm just showing them the box at first. This is a an open box from Amazon or a renewed. I, I, I don't know what the difference is. I just know it was about a hundred, uh, about a hundred dollars cheaper. Wait, can I can I can I make a prediction on what's in here? Go ahead. I think it's um an RC UFO. <laughs> okay. Can I make a prediction? Go ahead. It's Alienware because it has the alien guy in the well, front. Well, they make a well, it's an Alienware product. So what does what, what does well, the product do? Let's just open it do? up and let's see what's so, inside. Oh, okay. Any other guesses? A CPU. Um, oh no. Okay. Have you ever it's seen this computer. box? I've never like seen that box. Okay. I've no, never seen so, I've never I seen this. Everybody no, with it. Alienware. I see it I'll give you a hint. It's a new. It's not that new, but it's a technology. There's other ones that use what's called um, um, uh, Thunderbolt 3 to accomplish this, and you're going to see what it is to accomplish. Something is it an Alienware monitor? No. That's small. So <laughs> Alienware came out with their own, and they have what's called an Alienware port. So this is an Alienware computer here. Oh, nice. And it has an Alienware dedicated port mm, here, okay. okay? So this will only work with Alienware laptops. Ah. All right. So can we laptops. open it? Can we open Is it, it a hard drive? No. That's it's a joystick. Stick. No. All right, come on. Let's open it up. A secondary okay. laptop? No. I don't think it opens that way. Imaging system so that you can see what's on one monitor I don't think it opens this way. No more guesses. No. It's like that, uh, that little monitor here. Well, what's that tape? Oh, it goes, around it goes this way. Okay, you're right. <laughs> so, okay. You should let me cut the box open. No, because yeah. I don't want to mess up the box. I want to keep it. The box has tons of stickers on it and tape on it. It's okay. I want to keep it. It's messed up. I want to keep it. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, watch it. You almost got cut. Step away. Let me see. Let me... Okay, let's see. Ready? Ready. What? Any guess? Another computer? It's a bomb. No. <laughs> Looks like a bomb. Kind of does look like a bomb. Okay, can you stop saying that word since <laughs> YouTube, you know, reads everything you say? Good. So, no, that's not it's good. It's my free way to say this. It's so, it's not... Is this an, is this like a mini so, com, like PC for like your laptop? No, this is the power. Is it another That's laptop? Weird power. See the power right there? It looks like a computer, like a, like a, like a power source. Yep. Okay, and then this is the output for the screen. The dedicated, this should be the dedicated Alienware. I think this is about six feet long. Oh, jeez. Any, uh, so this will go at one end. And is it the, an Alienware projector? <laughs> um, you're not too far. That's what I said. Ooh. So, this is an actual, <laughs> this is the actual <laughs> ports okay. themselves. That looks good. Looks like a uh, huge what does it say uh, on HDMI. It? Five, it says, no, it's just the shape of them. Yeah. Okay, there's no numbers. And these is to clip it on and off. Really thick cable. You can take a look at it. I feel Any like this, idea? I think this is cut resistant cable. Oh, wait. Mm. That looks like an old printer cable. Okay. Mm. Oh, we got instruction no, manual. You can't look at that yet. <laughs> Let's take the box out of the way for now. Let's take it. Let's check it out. Okay. So now let's remove the cushion. It's a portable computer builder device. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think it's a 3D printer either. Scanner. It's a 3D printer. Nah. Nah, come on. I haven't on. seen Alienware so, make a 3D printer. Who's to say that they haven't? I don't know if they haven't, I don't know. But it's probably a... What the heck is that? Any idea yet? It looks like something out of Star Wars. I the told little you! Rat. The little rat from Star Wars. Oh, you mean the little roller thing? Yeah, that's the a rat. That you know that's a rat, right? Star? No. Is um so you said it could be it's a projector. A no, I don't think so. It's too light for it. 
It's a PC. It's a. Uh, oh my God! You're tossing this thing. Okay. Any idea? All right. So let's just show it on the TV on the video first. This is the top. It's hollow. I think it's a projector. This is the side ventilation. Alienware. No, speaker. This is the bottom. It's hollow. It's, I, it's I think plastic. It's, it's got to be a projector. It has a power source in there. It's like a mini computer. Or That's the front. What is this? Is this even power on? What do you this oh, is, on, this is the, the back. What does it do? Look, okay. What is this supposed the power to do? Right here. Here. So now let's see if you can figure out. You can hold it. Wait, we Just don't drop this? it, please. It's a football. Just Maybe leave that there so you can show it. Looks like you can put a video Alienware card graphic in amplifier. Like video or memory in there? It says Alienware graphic amplifier. Okay. Oh, there you go. You're ready. <laughs> well, but then what does it do? Well, I'm assuming... You read it exactly. Yeah, it amplifies the graphics, I guess. Okay. This yeah, looks like it'd be it fun for me. Did you figure this out with this? Wait, wait, wait. I had a quick wait, question. Let, you just said no names. Like, you just I'm sorry. His name. I'll I'll deduct that. So let me cut that. Any it. guess on it, Mr. Two? Mr. Brown? I would say something like a graphics card like rack. Like if you want to have your graphic cards externally for some reason. If you want like two, three how many does it fit? Looks like it would fit three. Mm. A normal would only fit one so. these days. <sighs> Like Does it amp amplify it to rack. 4K or something? Oh, thing You're not too far So fast. I got a question. Go ahead. So since it's a graphics designer, do you use this for like movies and stuff like that? And, like videos? Yeah, sure. Well, I'm going to use this. Well, no, no, no. I don't understand what you mean by movie. You can well, watch like, movies. No, but like, let's say you're trying to edit a video or something like that. You, you can use this, this for and like yeah. add stuff to it, like okay. sound effects and stuff like so, that. So this is the... This should be right here. Hold on a second. Let me just show you the inside so you get more of an idea. This should be the sliding open. And I think this opens here. Okay, how do you... Uh, Shake it around. There, there it goes. There we okay, go. let's open it up. That's the inside. Wow. Okay. It's actually quite empty, to be honest. I thought there was going to be a lot more wires. Seems like it's all coming. Any other kind of idea? Yeah. If you can think what it is. Oh, yeah, I think I do. That's okay, advice. Mr. Blue, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Blue again. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. blue. Oh, I'm blue. I'm sorry. So, what is that? How many watches like, is that? You have a, let's say, a laptop or a MacBook or something, which has basically don't have any graphics card worth mentioning. You use this. You don't want to buy an entire PC set. So when you get whenever you want a game or whatever, you use this, of course. So uh, it amplifies the, the video signal. You uh, complement it with an actual graphics card. Now it only has two of these, so I, I guess that will be enough for a graph good graphics card. Ding 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 ding. You are one hundred percent correct. <laughs> What's the biggest bottleneck with laptops? The picture? No, it's graphics. They don't have the any graphics, graphics. car. Because you just now, even when it comes to the high-end graphics it card, mm -hmm. it still could overheat and everything. Oh, okay. So this will give you the option to use a full-fledged graphic card. Oh. That is Oh, that's amazing. why you okay. Very nice. That is amazing. Why I never even thought of it. That's amazing. That so cool. there's two versions. There's the Thunderbolt 3.1 mm -hmm. that you can use on most laptops. If okay. you have a Thunderbolt laptop, you don't even need a video card because you can always upgrade it later and it'll work at a high-end laptop. I like that. Now, this Alienware makes its own dedicated one. So now one of the nice things about studying, uh, looking this up with Alienware is that because it's a dedicated dedicated option now a, see when you do uh thunderbolt 3 mm -hmm. you can run different things on it all right this what happens when you use something that's dedicated to doing that when you use a printer as a printer it prints well yeah. but when you have a printer who does faxing scanning <laughs> sometimes it has issues yeah. doing different things well not everything's done the, well since this is just dedicated not thunderbolt 3 box that you can use and it mm -hmm. works well 
But it's still, according to what I've read, Alienware still makes the best because it's their ports and their connection. It's proprietary. It's dedicated specifically just for graphics. So it's just, it's graphics it's very, amazing. very cool. It's awesome. So with this graphics, which I'll give you, I'll show more detail later. I can't read. Can you read the wattage? It should be a 400 watt, a 400 something watt. 142? No. Max. no Which no, one it should be. Oh, here it is. Uh, total power 460 watt max. Okay, 460 watt. 460 watt dedicated just to nice. the card. Video card. To the card. So the idea is on my Oculus, I'll be able to. This thing comes with not only a video card slot, that but it amazing. comes with four USB 3.1 ports, the dedicated Alienware port. Um, and the plug, and that's it. And this is enough for one card. These two yeah, slots is for one one card. Nice. So I purchased this card, which I'll be opening up later for it. But I thought I'd show you that's cool. this and what it does. And it will be dedicated. I'm not going to set it up now, but I'll set it up later. And we'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you know what the Sorry. test come up. So I'm looking forward to doing that so that I can just... The main reason is that the Alienware laptop I got has a good graphics card, but like I said, when you dedicate a full-fledged dedicated video card, you tend to get better power out, out of it. Mm -hmm. So it'll be nice to set this off off to the side, plug all the Oculus peripherals to it through the USB so everything's all nice. And then all I have to do is come and plug this into the laptop very nice. And it's all set up already. Well, you have to, in order to plug this in, you have to shut down the PC, plug it in, turn it back on, and then when you want to take it off, you have to do the same. So how does that fit on the PC? Oh, that there's a port on there. It has oh, all right, the so Alienware yeah. laptops that take this have a dedicated so Alienware it, port. So if it doesn't have Alienware port, what you do? You can't use this. It has to be compatible with it. Very nice. So it so goes like in a, there. It's like a huge HDMI almost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In there. Like that. Nice. See that? And then to take it off, you press it. And according to what I've read, you have to be very careful when you're putting it on and taking it off. Which I'm having problems right now. So it's I'll just on the sides. It. Oh, on the sides too. Oh, there it is. So you have to push on the sides. Thank you. So you have to push on the sides to loosen it because those clips right here, they get stuck. Yeah. So if you're pulling on it, you could, you know, yeah, really exactly. do damage to it. So you have to be very careful using this. So it's, um, I'm looking forward to using it nice. with the Oculus. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's uh, really cool. And um, yeah, it comes with a six yeah, foot. This is a six foot. This cable is six feet long, so it gives you a lot. I'll confirm it, but it gives you a lot of <laughs> space to set your laptop wherever you want. Set this, connect all your Oculus peripherals to it, and just plug and play and just go, nice. which is pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to using it. So I'll do more detail, the close-up and everything, and an opening of this uh, video card. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Just got this. I'm going to use it in my Alienware graphics amplifier. I have an Alienware laptop that I'm going to be using uh, this video card on. The laptop itself already has a 2070 video card. So I'm just adding a 2080 Super video card. More for convenience. I mean, it's a little bit of a boost. You know, because you're using a full-size graphic card instead of the one inside the laptop. So, it reduces heat and everything. And it reduces uh, over usage on the motherboard and all that. Because it is a laptop. It gets hot and it starts to, you know, lag. Especially when it gets too, too hot. So, anyway. I'm a believer that the full-size cards, graphic cards and everything are much better than the ones inside laptops. Um because of their full size and you know they're dedicated just for that it's not part of the uh, whole laptop thing so anyway that, then and that's just my opinion um 
so I purchased this so I can set it up and just plug in my laptop and take it out when it comes to uh, running my Oculus and some other gaming software that needs a high-end graphics card or, graph or a computer. And uh, I saw this was on special. This was a uh, renewed product or refurbished product or you know a used product on Amazon and I paid about 160 compared to 229 the going rate for a brand new one it looks new it looks great great condition I looked it over I'm doing a video on it now so I this is the graphics card I'm going to put in there and my idea is that I'm just going to set this up on the side and when I'm ready to run because I'm I have a full-size tower but I'm having problems running some of the 360 Oculus, I'm sorry, the Oc the VR Oculus racing games. So they seem not to work very well on that computer. I don't know if it's a software or hardware issue. But when it comes to that, when I'm using my, this is my uh, setup for driving games, my VR driving games. And I have an issue when I use my desktop so the laptop has solved the issue but i want to get it you know have less of an issue of plugging everything in because i always have to plug in all the other uh usb devices the oculus itself and everything so what i'd like to do is actually have everything plugged in here or actually have it plugged into a usb hub and then have that hub plug in here and the back of this has a bunch of usb ports and everything so it's going to be more for convenience and future proofing so i'm hoping that this laptop lasts a really really long time and that i can continuously upgrade the video card as video cards get get better so hopefully i'll still have this in five years unless the whole you know industry changes completely so let's open this up and take a look at it this is the I don't think So I was totally wrong in needing new screws. The screws are perfect. They fit perfectly. Matter of fact, I couldn't find a screw that fit in there. So this might be proprietary also. So don't lose these screws. As um, the other ones I tried, extra ones I have just did not work. So don't lose these. It's all done. Perfect. Everything's plugged in and ready to go. I don't know if my where I could run my cables coming out of this thing. So it looks like the video card shroud or the cover is too thick. I can't close this thing. It won't close right. Um, it won't. Yeah, it's too. You can see right there. It's too thick. I'm hoping if I take this off, it'll be easier. So, I'm going to have to try to modify the video card. So that I, I mean, not modify it, but just get rid of the shroud. Nope, it won't fit. No, still won't fit. All right, I have to get another video card. Let me. Try. With this, 
I pulled this out of the computer. I believe it's a Founders Edition. I'm going to find out when I plug it in. I forget. I believe they both are Founders Editions on both of my computers. It says this thing over here in the back to hold it up. Okay, it seems smaller. Seems like it'll fit. So let's see what. Let's see if it will. Let me take this thing off first. 